Hey everyone, wanted to show you why you need a high percentage of polyester when making the infusible ink shirts with the Cricut. Just wanted to show you the first example here. This one turned out beautiful. You can see it's infused into the fabric really well. Um, looking at the tag here, now this is a shirt I bought um, directly from Cricut. It is a Cricut shirt. Um, looking at the tag, it's 95% polyester and 5% spandex. And then I tried, because I saw something online that said it needs to be at least 50% polyester. So I found this shirt over at Hobby Lobby for a lot cheaper. The Cricut shirt was uh, $7 or $8.99, and I believe this one is $4.99. Um, this is 50% polyester, 25% cotton, and 25% rayon. And you can tell it is extremely light. It's hard to read. It just does not look as bright and vibrant as this shirt over here. Um, I did buy a couple of shirts in the meantime after that that were only 92% polyester and they turned out just great. Um, so I, um, in my experience, as long as they're at least 92% polyester, it'll work. 50% 50, 50 I do not buy that it actually works at all because here's proof that, I mean it works, it's just extremely light. And it's barely um, readable when it is on my child. So I'm not going to be making that mistake again. Uh, but it's nice to, you know, know and learn for future projects and stuff like that. They were just kind of sample shirts anyways. So not a huge deal. Just thought I'd mention it to you guys. Um, I am curious what you all have made with your in new infusible ink. If you have any... Uh, um, any products that you have made, I would totally love to see them. If you want to leave that in the comments below, I will take a look. Hope you all have a great weekend ahead.